I hate midterms. Yes, I do. I hate midterms. How about you? Actually, that's not today's question of the day, but today's question of the day is something similar. Um, I asked before what your favorite class ever was, and um, now I'm going to ask, what is your least favorite class ever? And um, I have to say that while poetry comes pretty close, my uh, least favorite class ever would probably be Spanish 2 because I suck at it, and it sucks, and it's stupid, and I wish I didn't need to learn it. But um, your least favorite class ever is the question of the day. There you go. Hey, boys and girls, the battle with Shin from the Cerebi chat room. I'm using the same team as I did yesterday. Um, and um, we have a pretty nice battle here. I probably won't use this team again, but um, it has some critical weaknesses. So I yawn right off the bat just to um, kind of force a switch, I guess. And he set up Stealth Rocks, and I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks on his switch. And he goes into Tentacruel. And that's this is about the time I noticed that he has two possible Pokemon with Rapid Spin. And yes, two Pokemon with Rapid Spin. So unfortunately, I let him set up the uh, two layers of Toxic Spikes and a Stealth Rocks. So I do have quite a few entry hazards on my team. So I go into Machamp. And um, I get poisoned, and that's not good because, you know, toxic poison is pretty bad. And um, I guess it's not that bad on Machamp because I this is a rest-talking Machamp, so it's not too bad. So he goes into um, back into Don Fan, and um, I'm just going to Dynamic Punch since I was trying to confuse that. And um, I end up getting a crit and confusing the Don Fan, so that's not too bad. And um, I don't want to risk it, and I kind of predicting the rapid spin, so I go into Spirit Tome, because Spirit Tome is my rapid spin eater. But um, he gets confused anyway, so that's not bad. And he's going to go for an Earthquake, just to try to KO my Spirit Tomb so he can rapid spin later. And he does get the Earthquake off, and um, I'm just going to burn the Don Fan to get continual damage on it, as well as have its attack, so it's not that bad. And um, take some significant damage from the burn. So I'm going to predict another Earthquake and go back into Uxie because Uxie can take Earthquakes, obviously, because of Levitate. And um, he does try to go for the Earthquake, but of course it misses, and that's pretty awesome. And um, I'm just going to U-turn out back into Spirit Tome, thinking he's probably going to go for a um, Rapid Spin again. And I predicted correctly, because he does try to Rapid Spin again, and that's pretty cool, because he hits right into my Spirit Tome. And, um, yeah, his Mammoth dies. So, stupid dead Don fan can't um, Rapid Spin. And um, this beginning part of the battle is pretty much just a chess match. He's trying to get away his entry hazards while, um, you know, I'm trying to keep them in place. So he's asleep, so I'm just going to Pain Split, which heals Spirit Tomb significantly and damages Tentacruel significantly, so that's a nice move. And um, this guy seems to have a entry hazard control team. Because he has two rapid spinners and multiple entry hazards on his team. So he wakes up and surfs, but I switch into Uxie, and it's not going to do a whole lot to Uxie. So I'm just going to uh, yawn again, attempt to put it to sleep, and he does go rapid spin on Tentacruel. But that's rather pointless, because I just can just set up the Stealth Rocks on the Switch anyway. So I do go for the uh, Stealth Rocks here, and that's not too bad. And he goes into Rhyperior. And, um... Rhyperior is, um... Interesting, so I'm just going to yawn it. And he's going to Stone Edge, and that's going to do, you know, some damage to Uxie. But this Uxie is uh, EV'd in defense and HP, so it's not going to do a whole lot, actually. And I'm going to U-turn as he goes back into Tentacruel. And I'm going to go out into Spirit Tome, because I really don't want him to Rapid Spin again. And um, there's not really much to say. I'm just trying to keep my Stealth Rocks on the field where they belong. I mean, is that too much to ask? Apparently so. But, um, yeah, he's going to try to Toxic Stall me. I go for a will o -Wisp to get continual damage on it, but unfortunately I miss, and that sucks. And um, he's going to Surf this time. The first, I guess he didn't Surf before, predicting a, um, what's it, Sucker Punch? I guess that's what he probably was predicting when he was trying to Toxic Stall me. But then he saw I was trying to burn him. And I do get the burn off the second turn, but I take it, I get taken down because of the, um, yeah. T taken down because of the poison. Okay, so I go back into Uxy because just in case he tries to rapid spin, I can always set them up again. And I just go for a T-Bolt because it's super effective. And um, it doesn't do a whole lot because Tentacruel is a special wall. And um, it looks like he's going to be able to KO, KO Uxy now. And that'll be rather bad because 
Um, I like Uxie alive, rather. So, yeah. My Stealth Rocker gets taken down. I'm really hoping I can outspeed it with Machamp, but I can't. He gets the rapid spin off, so, yeah. I lose the first part of the match, this first five minutes in actually times four time. So that's that's not good. So now I'm speeding it up, as you can see, because this battle is actually 40 minutes long. Quite epic, I know, but um, not when you're trying to do this. And pretty much I'm just stalling out. We're both stalling each other out. I go into a Magnezone to try to trap his Bronzong, but he confuses me before I could Magnet Rise, because I get the confusion hacks, and he gets me down with an Earthquake, which sucks, because I was trying to use Magnet Rays. So here, um, I go back into a Champ, and um, he goes into Weezing, and yeah, we're just, you know, playing a little chess match, but I'm at a disadvantage because, um, yeah, every time I switch out, I get a Stealth Rock on me, and all my guys get Toxic Poisoned, which is really annoying. So, yeah, that's why I'm speeding this part up, because this part is just a chess match, like I said, and it's not too interesting. He gets a crit there, which kind of pissed me off before, and, um, oh well. So, yeah. At this point, I realize that Machamp is my only hope to win this. I have to just go at it with Machamp. And, um, because this is a rest-talking Machamp, it's pretty much my only hope. He doesn't predict the rest, which is awesome, because I get the rest off. I survived with one hit point, first of all. Then I get the rest off. And now this is him trying to KO Machamp. And eventually he's going to sacrifice Weezing to get rid of Machamp. But, um, yeah, this is just another part of the battle, with me stalling out with Machamp, because he can't seem to kill it, and, you know, we pretty much make a trade. My Weezing, or my Machamp for his Weezing. So, as you can see, that's what's going to happen. Um, he has Pain Split to heal him, so I can't get him down without killing myself. So, pretty much, we make a trade here. Um, yeah. Pretty much how it plays out is I trade my Machamp's life for his Weezing, so it's pretty much going to happen. Um, he tries to save it by sending in Bronzong. I really don't know why, because that's a KO'd Bronzong now. And um, now he does go into Weezing. No, he goes in... Never mind, I'm stupid. Yeah, I do get some damage on his team first, that's right. Because he's trying to KO Machamp without sacrificing Weezing. But now he does decide to go into Weezing and sacrifice it, so that's not bad at all. la di da di la there's not a whole lot to say here. Um, I keep resting just to heal the burn, because Machamp really can't be burned and hurt Weezing. And I'm just really hoping to get something good off um, Sleep Talk. Like, Stone Edge is what I want. And he's trying to PP stall me with Weezing as well. But, you know, rest talking doesn't waste the PP of the actual move, so... That's that's quite whatever. So pretty much we're just waiting. <laughs> See, we're just we pretty much made a formal agreement here. We didn't actually make an agreement, but um, right there we just pretty much he sacrifices Weezing and get to a point where my mud champ is easily KO'd. And obviously the um he's going to KO he's going to outspeed and be able to KO me with melodic. And this is the end of the battle, so I'm stop speeding it up past normal parameters, and I go into Blaziken, and I predict the switch into Rhyperior and decide to superpower, and that's going to do quite a bit of damage to Rhyperior, and that's pretty awesome. And, um, all he has left is Melotic, and all I, I have uh, Machamp back, but I switch into Machamp to get a full-powered superpower, because that's the only way I'm going to be able to KO the Melotic. So this is going to come down to the last second. Can I KO the Melotic in one hit with superpower or not? This isn't a full attack Blaziken, but, eh, gotta go for it. 150 base power after stab, and da-da-da-da, he survives with three hit points and finished me off. Great game, very epic. Um, I think I'm done for this team for a while, so um, still, nice match. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and um, 